Here is a speed time graph for a train. Work out an estimate for the distance the train travelled in the first 20 seconds. Use four strips of equal width. So because this is a speed time graph, the distance travelled is equal to the area under the graph. So in order to work out an estimate for the distance the train travelled in the first 20 seconds, we'll want to estimate the area under the graph between the times of 0 seconds and 20 seconds. However, we've been told to use four strips of equal width. So what we can do is split this area into four vertical widths. So what we need to do is work out what these four areas are equal to and then add them all together. So what we can see is the first strip is a triangle and then the other strips are trapeziums. So we'll need to know the formula for the area of a triangle and then the area of a trapezium. So the area for a triangle is a half multiplied by base multiplied by height. And then the area for a trapezium is half the sum of the parallel lines multiplied by the height between them. So if we start off with the time between 0 and 5 seconds, the area will be equal to half multiplied by 5 multiplied by 2, which gives us an answer of 5. So for the time between 5 and 10 seconds, our area will be equal to a half multiplied by 2 plus 5, which is the sum of the parallel lines, multiplied by the height between them, which is 5. And this gives us an answer of 17.5. Between 10 and 15 seconds, our area is equal to a half multiplied by 5 plus 10, which is the sum of our parallel lines, multiplied by 5, which gives us an answer of 37.5. And then finally, between 15 and 20 seconds, the sum of our parallel lines will be 10 plus 18 and then the height between them is 5. So between the time of 15 seconds and 20 seconds, the area under the graph is equal to a half multiplied by 10 plus 18 multiplied by 5, which gives us an answer of 70. So now the final thing we need to do is add together these four values to give us an estimate for the distance the train has travelled in the first 20 seconds. So 5 plus 17.5 plus 37.5 plus 70 gives us an answer of 130. Now this question is worth three marks. We'll get our first two marks for using a suitable method to work out the area of each of the four strips. And we'll get our third mark for the correct answer. Is your answer to A an underestimate or an overestimate of the actual distance the train travelled? Give a reason for your answer. So if we take a look back at the graph, the shape of the graph is curved. However, when we worked out the area under the graph, we've also included this space between the trapezium and the curve. So therefore, our answer to part A is an overestimate. So we can write in our answer that our answer to part A was an overestimate because we have also included the area between the trapezium and triangle and the curve. And this question is worth one mark, and we'll get that one mark for stating that the answer is an overestimate with a suitable reason.